Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Galatians chapter 5, verses 25 through chapter 6, verse 10. The Reverend Rick Serena is preaching. The broadcast of chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. A reading from Galatians, the fifth chapter. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own work, and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor. For each will have to bear his own load. One who is taught the word must share all good things with the one who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption, but the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Lord, I love the habitation of your and the place where your glory dwells. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, I love the habitation of your house, and the place where your glory dwells. The Christian church should be like nothing else in all creation. Walking into a Christian congregation should feel like landing on a different planet. Meeting a Christian should be like discovering an extraterrestrial being. The Christian church should be downright surreal to the world around us. But of course, that's not the case. We act just like everyone else. When we look in the mirror, we are most likely to see our culture staring right back at us. We can be every bit as petty, Every bit as divisive, every bit as ill-tempered and unforgiving, every bit as self-absorbed and self-justifying as anyone else. And if you want to confirm that, please do me a favor and check your social media feeds after chapel. What's worse, in Lutheran circles, I think we actually attempt to legitimate that and excuse those behaviors using theology. We believe in the two kingdoms, we say. And since we live in each of those kingdoms, when we're in the kingdom of the left, it's okay to act like everybody else in the kingdom of the left. Or we remind ourselves that we are symbol used to set the kator, at the same time righteous and a sinner, and so it's okay if we sin a little bit. It's to be expected. Whatever the validity of those theological positions may be, let it be said that St. Paul has none of that in mind in this morning's lesson. No, for St. Paul, our lives are to reflect the work of the Spirit in us, the Spirit we have received in the waters of holy baptism. And that means we should lead our lives in accord with the baptisms we have received rather than in accord with the sinful flesh we carry about and with the sinful world in which we live. Now, in this lesson, St. Paul urges the Galatians to sow to the Spirit rather than to the flesh. 
That means they are to live in accordance with the spirit they have received by doing what the spirit has given them to do as God's people. It's the same message he had repeatedly given to the Galatians throughout that letter. St. Paul condemns those foolish, bewitched Galatians for sowing division amongst themselves rather than sowing to the unity the Holy Spirit has given them. The Holy Spirit and third person of the Holy Trinity has united them as one in Christ in the waters of holy baptism. That same Spirit has created faith in their hearts to believe in the gospel and receive from Jesus Christ the very forgiveness of their sins and the freedom from the condemnation of the law. And that Spirit has produced in them His fruit, the fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And that spirit, that spirit who has given them a new and eternal life through faith in Christ, now beckons them to live in accordance with God's word by doing what their Lord commands them. If they have been given eternal life through that spirit, then they should live in accordance with that same spirit by doing what he has given them to do as God's people rather than what their sinful flesh desires. That's what St. Paul means when he says we ought to sow to the spirit rather than to the flesh. Rest assured, good Lutherans, St. Paul is no legalist. He is not guilty of works righteousness. You don't have to choose between the epistle to the Galatians and your Lutheran theology. No, on the contrary, what St. Paul says here is absolutely no different than what Luther will say some 14 centuries later in the small catechism. There Luther writes that baptizing with water indicates how we should by daily, yes, daily contrition and repentance drown and put to death the old Adam within us and that a new creature should daily, yes, daily, arise and emerge to lead a new life before Jesus Christ in purity and righteousness. St. Paul telling you to sow to the Spirit is, is really no different than Luther telling you to remember your baptisms and live in light of them. To sow to the Spirit is to do what is consistent with your baptisms rather than what is consistent with your sinful flesh. St. Paul says we shouldn't be conceited or provoke one another or envy one another. It's because that's simply not what baptized Christians do. That may be what the world around you does. That may be what your sinful flesh desires, but that's not what baptized Christians do. Likewise, when he says we should restore the fallen with gentleness and bear one another's burdens, it's because that's simply what baptized Christians do. He says we should share all good things with those who teach us and not grow weary in doing good and do good to everyone, especially those of the household of faith, because that's simply what baptized Christians do. None of that means we'll do it completely. None of that means we'll do it perfectly. But it does mean that we should seek to live in a way that is consistent with the baptism we have received, with the Spirit who has been poured out upon us there, rather than with the sinful flesh we have inherited of the sinful world around us. For you to sow to the Spirit rather than the flesh, as St. Paul says, means that you are to lead your lives as the baptized children of God rather than as citizens of this sin-sick culture around us. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you live like that, you will look nothing like the world around you. If you live like that, you will no longer reflect this sinful world and its warped pettiness, divisiveness, anger, self-righteousness, self-absorption, and self-justification, or whatever else Mark Zuckerberg allows you to do on Facebook or Instagram. If you live like that, then when you look in the mirror, it won't be your culture staring right back at you. It'll be those glistening baptismal waters, blessed in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, where that Holy Spirit came to you, imparted faith to your hearts, and began to work in you a work that he continues right here and right now. If you live like that, you will no longer appear to the world around you as one of them, but rather as a different species altogether, as the paranormal, extraterrestrial Christian souls you really are, as the aliens and strangers and citizens of heaven that you are. 
And what they will see in you is something they will see nowhere else in all creation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining us for Chapel. Today we pray for Chaplain Eric Nieder who has deployed. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org chapel.